Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. The first one is the FAA is seeking public comments on BV loss flights below 400 feet for the purpose of data collection. Uh, we also have a DJI Air 3 leak potentially, and then uh, Korean Air is actually using drones for something really cool. Let's get to it. The first story this week is the FAA is requesting public comments on four BV loss waiver requests. Now, if granted, uh, Phoenix Air Unmanned, UAVionix, Zipline, and UPS Flight Forward will be able to capture data for upcoming drone uh, policies and rulemaking. Now, the FAA is asking the public to review the key concepts and then the potential approaches that the FAA is contemplating in order to use for future exemption. So it's somewhat important. Uh, the public input opened on the 25th of May, which was yesterday, if you're watching this on Friday. And uh, you can see the link in the description to, uh, well, read more about what the FAA is planning on doing and also uh, to leave your comment. Your second story this week is a leaky one. Yes, we're talking about the DJI Air 3 leaks. Uh, Deals Drone has leaked some images of what appears to be the new DJI product, uh, more than likely the successor to the Air 2S. Now, to remain consistent with the Air 2S, we're gonna assume that it has a one inch sensor uh, based on what uh, DJI has been doing recently. And based on the images that you see playing in the background here, uh, the drone may have omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. Uh, in addition, you'll see that the batteries appear to be more like the batteries on the Mavic uh, series than they are from the Mini 3 series. So uh, that uh, could mean some uh, pretty good flight time. So we'll keep you updated. I'm sure we will see more of these in the future, but uh, I know you guys get excited when uh, we see some of these. And then the final story this week is a cool use of drones. Uh, Korean Air is using a swarm style drone uh, to canvas and to inspect their airplanes. Uh, the uh, drones are being operated inside the hangar at the moment, but their goal is to eventually uh, be able to deploy those on the ramp as well. Now, the data is used uh, to supplement the manual inspections that they do, and then also to detect any dents, cracks, or any kind of deformations. Uh, that's using artificial intelligence, which is uh, also pretty cool. That's a, a novel concept. Uh, nice to see the, uh, the uh, big uh, industries using uh, drones to do some of this stuff and hopefully making uh, aviation even safer. And then one last cool thing I want to share. Uh, this week, the FAA has approved our BV loss waiver designed to do range testing on a variety of different drones. So we'll be able to do some safe and legal uh, range test for uh, a bunch of uh, different drones and see how far uh, we can fly them from the controller. Uh, look out for some of these videos. Uh, now that we have the approval, we're going to be planning uh, our entire mission. Uh, we'll even do a BTS, I think, behind the scene of how we plan these missions to do them safely and to make sure that we follow the waiver uh, that we just received. So that's it. I'm excited. We'll see you guys next week and you have a great weekend. Mm -hmm.